Hey, Dave from Head Games here, and today we got a special one, Lamborghini Preferamonte heads. I'm going to show you all around these things, maybe some differences in Valtrain and what they are versus the Gallardo or the Huracan, and uh, check it out. First thing you'll notice is the intake port is wild looking. All these, uh, I'm going to call them trenches. They have these little trenches here and there and everywhere. And uh, they actually work. They're for fuel itemization. And they're there for purpose. We have taken them out, gained zero CFM. And it really wasn't worth going through all the effort of removing them. The exhaust port is actually shared with the Huracan. It's the same exact exhaust port and it's very similar to uh, the Gallardo exhaust port. Now these exhaust ports haven't really changed over the years because they just work. The special part of a Preferamonte is actually all in the valve train and the camshaft. So the camshaft has more lift and a little bit more duration and the valve train is completely different. So what they do is they have a titanium intake valve that has a single groove. And what I mean here, you'll see it has a single groove versus the regular Huracan has a triple groove. Now, the triple groove is really so the valve spins faster, right? So uh, do I know why that they changed that over to a single groove? No, I do not know that, but I would imagine it is so that the valve, they kind of want to slow it down because of the titanium um, material. So this is made by Dell West. It's made in America, a little Dell West, and then they usually put a PVD coating on them to protect it so it can use on the street. Now this is, I'll show you the weight differences. Put a little scale on here. So there is your Huracan valve. These are the same size valve. I'm oh, sorry, I put that on there. So we're at 42.1 grams versus 24.1 grams. So a lot of weight savings in the valve train alone. Um, now the exhaust valve, you'll see this is the exhaust valve for the Preferamonte and it's flat faced versus the Huracan is not flat faced. And what we can see here is again, the weight, weight difference is 40.4. This is also hollow stem. I can already feel how much difference it is. 34.1 and it also believe it or not comes with a smaller diameter valve so the Preferamonte is a millimeter smaller on the exhaust valve so circling back to the valve lock situation they actually use a titanium valve lock on the intake side now i've never seen that on any other genre we can see it's a 0.4 gram so it's a half almost a half a gram and then you look at the exhaust, there's steel, a full gram, 0.9, you know, it's like right in the middle there. So there's weight savings everywhere. All right, so let's circle back to the valves as well. So you'll notice that this, uh, from the top of the lock to the tip of the valve is a different length. So here is the regular Huracan valve and that's long and this is short. And that is because they use a lash cap. They use the lash cap to make up for the difference. And they do that because the intake valve is titanium. And when you have titanium, you can't run a rocker straight on the valve unless you have a hardened tip. And so they just use a lash cap. And they're going to do that to just make sure that all the geometry is the same. So you also notice that the rocker is a different width than the Huracan. So they do that because it has to go around the lash cap that we we're just speaking about. They need to have a provision for that. And the only way they can do that is to widen that rocker. This rocker is specific to only the Preferamonte. And lastly, this is the valve spring. So this is the Preferamonte spring and this is the Huracan spring. You'll notice that the Huracan spring, much smaller than this spring and it's also taller, right? So it's a little bit taller. The spring pocket for the Preferamonte is completely different. And actually there is no valve train that fits it directly. I should say 
there is no aftermarket valve train that fits it directly. Now you're probably wondering why are these heads here? Well, let's just start that the valve guide, I normally measure this stuff, but I just wanted to show you visually how much you can rock this guide or rock this valve in the guide. And that is just part of the problem of why this thing is here. So what that does is it wore the valve out. And you can see here, this valve is actually pretty much razor sharp and there is no 45 anymore. This thing just dug into a 45 degree angle of the valve seat, dug into the valve and just beat the crap out of it. It actually sucked the valve in. Their valve is almost 50 thousandths smaller than it originally was. And it went into the head 60 thousandths. And when it did that, compared to you can see here, see the margin, the margin on the valve here. Sorry, I'm skipping around here. ADHD in the house. So you can see the margin, see how much more margin this has than this has. Uh, this is another head, another valve out of the head. It's not as bad, but it definitely hurt it. And you can see here how there's like nothing. And what happened was once it starts beating into here, now it's going to go to the valve float and it's going to valve float much easier. So what happens there is now the valve is going to continually go up. It's going to go in the valve float much easier. You've seen other videos that we, well, if you haven't look for them, but once the, the, once the lash goes away, it is going to create havoc in the valve train. So what eventually happened was the car was making a whole bunch of noise because the valve is actually staying open at this point. So they did a leak down. They realized they thought they had a bent valve you pulled it apart and holy crap, this thing is messed up. And that's why it's here. So we're going to do some bronze guides and we're going to do some new valves and this thing should be good to go. All right. That's uh, enough for us today. Feel free to like, subscribe, comment below. I'm always in there and uh, tell me what you want to see. We can see more of this while it's here. Maybe by the time this video goes up, maybe not. I don't know. Anyway, like, subscribe, comment below. Toodles.